What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Thank you for watching. Today's video should be a good one because once again, we are back with the flare gun. So I was going through my videos the other day and looking at all the flare gun stuff we've done and I realized there's a very important test that we have not done yet. So a few months back, I did the flare gun versus human torso. It was awesome. Definitely go check it out if you haven't seen it. And it actually kind of shocked me because the flare was able to penetrate that torso and burn in there for a bit, something I definitely did not expect to happen. But the torso was soft. It's obviously just ballistics gel and there were no bones in that spot, which is realistic. You don't have bones covering your entire torso. There are actually soft spots, but it got me thinking could it get through something harder? And if you were to, God forbid, ever have to use a flare gun for self-defense, what would be the most effective spot? So today I thought we would step it up a notch and try this on a slightly harder target, the human head. Yes, this is a ballistic dummy lab human head and we've done a ton of videos on these things at this point, so most of you have probably seen them. It's got ballistics gel on the outside with a skull underneath it and everything you would find in a real human head. And if you look closely, you can see just how anatomically correct these things are. So as always, I wanna emphasize this is 100% fake. It's not real or graphic in any way, but it is the most realistic thing you can get to test stuff like this. All right, so first we're gonna try this at about seven yards away, and if this don't work, which I have a feeling it probably won't, then we'll move up and try it at point blank range. Hey guys, this video is about to get a whole lot cooler, so definitely stick around, but before we go any further, I wanna thank Bullet Safe for sponsoring today's video. So this is the Bullet Safe VP3, a very lightweight, affordable, made in America bulletproof vest, and you don't have to take my word for it because we actually made a video on this thing just a couple months ago using a human torso and the results speak for themselves. It was very impressive. So the VP3 is NIJ level 3A certified, which means it can reliably stop up to a 44 Magnum, which we proved in the last video. And we also dumped an entire 15 round magazine of nine millimeter into this thing, which is a very tough test for body armor and it passed with flying colors. If you're interested, there will be a link in the description box below. And if you use the code OneShot10 at checkout, you can get 10% off the VP3 and save even more money. As you all know, these videos are not cheap to make and companies like Bullet Safe really help us to make the coolest videos possible. So again, a big thank you to Bullet Safe for sponsoring today's video. I really appreciate the support. And the flare gun we're using is just a basic Walmart Orion 12 gauge flare gun, the same one we've used in every other video. And these are the flares that it takes. So the problem with flare guns, well, there's a lot of problems with flare guns, but mainly they're very lightweight and they just don't penetrate hard targets very well. They also ricochet quite a bit and they burn very hot for a long period of time, which is the main reason why I always try to emphasize that people don't actually use these for self-defense. We obviously have fun with them on video and see what would happen if you ever had to, um, but they're inaccurate, they ricochet, and they burn very hot. So there's a 90% chance you would burn your own house down if you ever used a flare gun for self-defense. Pretty simple to operate. The way it works is you just open the barrel, put your flare in there, and then it has a little safety right here that you have to press to cock the hammer. So of course we do have fire extinguishers, water, you know, we're taking all the safety precautions necessary so well, let's see if we can hit this thing they're inaccurate and they tend to go pretty high so we'll see here that was actually kind of cool so i was literally aiming at the table underneath it and it still went a couple inches high it did bounce back and hit him on the ricochet but it didn't do any damage Let's try it again and see if we can actually hit him this time. Aim really low. Well, I went to go make sure nothing was on fire and forgot to toggle my slow-mo camera. So that's my bad, but you can see our human head here and how much damage we got. So that one actually went low, and that's kind of what I'm talking about when I say they're inaccurate and unpredictable. The first one went two inches high, and that one went, you know, almost too low. Actually, the first one that bounced off the wall did come back and hit him in the top of the head. It just left a little burn, obviously uh, no real damage. And then the second one actually hit him right there in the jawbone and that did go into the ballistics gel it didn't you know break any bones but it did penetrate the gel 
and definitely gave him a pretty good burn. So that would not feel good and it would probably freak someone out, but that kind of demonstrates why I do not recommend people actually use these for self-defense. They obviously burn, which could be a big problem, but they're also very inaccurate and unpredictable. But the real test is gonna be the point blank range test. So if someone's on top of you and God forbid, all you have is a flare gun, would it work and could it possibly save your life? Let's find out. All right, I've got some gloves on to protect my hands. I'm just gonna put the barrel of this thing right there, which I believe is probably the soft spot, and we'll see what happens. I think it will probably just stay in the barrel, and if it does, I'll obviously drop the flare gun and address it. Hopefully I'm wrong, and it actually gets some penetration, but let's find out. All right, here we go. Yes! It worked! Look at it, it's still burning. It's still burning. That is incredible. I don't know what you all were expecting. You can let me know down in the comments, but I am absolutely shocked at that result. So obviously at seven yards away, I didn't expect it to go in. They just don't have enough weight on them and they typically don't penetrate very well at distance, but at close range or point blank range, I guess you could say, it worked very well. So you can see where that flare went into our head and it obviously went all the way in because we have fluid all over the table now it fell off when i shot it i was kind of spooked so i let go um, and just let it fall to the ground i wish you guys could have seen what it looked like on the ground as it was burning but that flare actually penetrated that thing and you can see we have cracks going up in several different directions around where the flare went in and man is that impressive now on the back side we obviously have no damage that would have really shocked me if it went all the way through it just doesn't have enough weight on it but I don't know about you guys, I would say in a pinch, that flare gun would absolutely work for self-defense and could possibly save your life. Wow. Well, I guess we can say we did answer the question to the video. Obviously, I would never recommend a flare gun for self-defense in any situation, but if it was all you had and you used one in a pinch, I would say it could possibly save your life or at the very least stop the bad guy from doing what they're doing, which is kind of incredible. All right, guys, well, the flare gun impresses once again. I really don't know what else to say. Obviously, with guns and knives and bows and stuff like that, we all kind of know what to expect and what the result is gonna be. But every time I get the flare gun out, it never ceases to amaze me. And this might be the most incredible result we've gotten so far. That is definitely not what I expected. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. I'd be glad to hear from you guys as always. If you predicted this correctly, like in your mind, honestly, let me know in the comments because I definitely did not. So if you all enjoyed the video, please let me know in the comments as well and hit that like button for me guys. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.